Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, whatever time you are watching this. This is Sam and Lee and a cup of tea and today we're here in Bristol, Bristol Harbour. We're just about to visit Mike Ferry in his workshop. Lots of joggers along here. And um, yeah, we'll see you soon. We'll see you later. I think this is it, Sam. I think you might be right. Oh, there's a sign. Keep on running. So I don't know where I'm supposed to be parking. Stick on the rails. <laughs> Sam and Lee, Sam and Lee, Sam and Lee, and a cup of tea. Sam and Lee, Sam and Lee, Sam and Lee, and a cup of tea. It's Sam and Lee, Sam and Lee, and a cup of tea. It's Sam and Lee, Sam and Lee, and a cup of tea. Today on Sam and Lee and a cup of tea, we are sitting down with the fabulous Mike Berry over in Bristol. This is part of the Bristol trilogy. This is part number two. One of the things we didn't know about Mike was that he has a fabulous Tupperware collection that he keeps all his belongings in. Mike, of course, is extremely well known for having a very large one. That's right. He's the creator of the giant R2-D2 that you can get inside and drive around. Our visit today took us inside Mike's business, which is Vinyl Designs, which is the company largely responsible for the Droid Builders UK printed calendar, of which there are limited numbers, so please head over to Droid Builders UK and find out if you can purchase yours today. When I think of Bristol, I think of crime. Like that Banksy that keeps spraying painting stuff all over people's homes. Or when protesters pull down and chuck that Colson statue into the river. And then I think about the true Bristol attitude. Inside an international city with an ever-growing international reputation as a sustainable, culturally diverse, award-winning and the UK's most livable city. Vinyl Designs is based in Bristol Harbour and Mike is a real showman and says it isn't about just making a cup of tea, it's about showing how much he cares about this type of media. Mike has replaced the carpets and undertook a full deep clean prior to our arrival. And being a sign maker, he even made a salmon lee and a cup of tea logo directing our traffic on the way in. Good morning. Mike, how are you? I'm good, thank you. And you? I'm not too bad. I'm just going to make sure that we are socially distancing. Yeah, that's good. good. That's good enough for me. Thank you very much. Stay right there. Don't move. Thanks for having us, Mike. This okay. is a cool place we're at here. We've been to someone's house. We've been just into a garage. Yes. And yeah. uh, now your place of work. But what a cool place of work it is. It's a glorified uh, shed. It's great. Yeah, tell us a bit about this place, Mike. What, um, what was it? What it's is it over 100 years old. It's a corrugated building. What? Um, it was to do with the uh, to, to, to do with the dock uh, management, as in the crane drivers' canteen. What? And uh, they it was used for that for about fifty years, I think. And then they turned that into a file system, so they were storing files that. Way. And then um, my friend took it over as a welder, and uh, he retired, and I took it over, and I fitted it all out. I mean, as you can see, it's it wouldn't be a place you would do welding in now. No. Uh, it was basically like a glorified hole. Right. Uh, yeah. There was a there was a big canoe up here and a piece of metal and all that. But uh, you know, I'm tr trying to make it a bit more office in. Nice. Yeah, it's great. And you put new carpet down for us, I believe. I did. In that area, yes. I believe. Yes. Best. Like best B and M Axminster nice. you can get. Nice. Nice. You've tied it up for us. It's uh, no, it's it's really nice. And your business, of course, is Vinyl oh, Designs. It is. Um, and you've kindly done a lot of stuff for the builders as well. You know, you, yeah. you print a lot of our stickers for us and various other things. So thank you. I want to get it on camera. I know I do say no, it anyway, but thank you for all you do for the club. And, you know, long way to continue. You know, we really are grateful. Really and even my business uses you now. You know, I, we've, we've, pushed, we've pushed some work towards you, I believe. Yes, I set, did some folders for you. Some That's it. promotional folders. Yep. But, uh, I'm ha I hope you're happy with them. Absolutely, yeah. Louise was the uh, the main main influence behind that, but uh, I said we're definitely going to use you. And again, you know, like you say, we for all these different bits and pieces, any promotional stuff, it uh, it goes through Vinyl Designs and yourself, of course. And being that you're an R2 builder, it's a bit like being in the Masons, isn't it? You know, secret <laughs> handshakes. A little and, bit. You know, a little bit. Yeah, you know, yeah, if, yeah. If, if, yeah. if you if you're in that trade, brilliant. And uh, yeah. yeah, always yeah. happy to help. So how long has this company been running? How long? Um, has I've been, been here running? eleven years. Yeah. Um, I was, uh, I actually started in 96 with right. it from home. Okay. Um, I was working in a factory as well, nothing to do with sign making. 
uh, and I was doing sign making on the opposite shift. But uh, paid for our wedding cool. and uh, our honeymoon, and later on our divorce. Oh, so, okay. <laughs> So it's heavy awkward. story. Has, yeah. No, it doesn't yeah. have a happy ending. No, it, no. Has, it, did, it did have a happy okay. ending. Yes. Okay. Right. Uh, you might not, you might want to edit that there. Right. But now you're happy <laughs> with Helen. I know you're part of Helen. Yes. Yeah. Um, I'll never forget that name. My, that's my, my good better name. half. Yeah. Excellent. Um, yeah. She's uh, she is she, and she, she's been to a couple of comic cons. We went to Leicester Space Centre, right. and thoroughly enjoyed it. Um, it's met with uh, Kaz Allen. Yeah. Uh, okay. Jawa. Costume, first, yeah. and the rest of the other guys, and Great. Warwick Davis. Cool. Yeah, she really and, enjoyed it. And all your stuff is here rather than at home, you were telling it's me earlier on, because Helen isn't keen enough to have it all at home. It's, it's easier to have it all here. It is easier to have yeah. it here. Right. Um, you know, I, I know where everything is, I'm keeping an eye on things, and um, yeah, I just prefer it then. Right. That's good. And the thing is, as well, I mean, uh, a couple of months ago, there was a lot of noise outside. These kids and uh, little ones, and I came out, went outside, and there's a, a, a graffiti type door out back depicting the history of Bristol. And the teachers have brought them round to you know, learning uh, to teach them what, what the, the history of, uh, of Bristol. And they are outside, sat on the floor, looking at this. Anyway, they're all sort of shouting the door. So I went outside and I said, Excuse me, do you mind keeping the noise down? They all looked at me, and the teachers looked at me. I said, um, who likes Star Wars? Of course, every hand went up. I said, would you like to see R2-D2? So they said yes. So 35 kids <laughs> came in here, and everyone had to have their photograph taken. Oh, that with, teacher. With Excel. <laughs> and uh, they went out of here, and the teacher came back, and she said, thank you very much. She Brilliant. said, they were getting a bit bored with local history. She right. said, but it has made it that. Well, you're, another, uh, you're part of local history, aren't you? With, with this iconic yeah. thing here, sure. Mike, which you should talk about now, I think, really, a good time, is how it all started for you. What got you into joy building? When when did you start joy building? Um, what got you into joy right. building? Okay, I've always liked Star Wars. Um, and there was a bit of a lull between when the uh, Return of the Jedi finished and um, to when I got back into Star Wars. Um, I went to see every film, um, thoroughly, you know, we didn't have the technology back in sort of 80 and 70s that to make things, you know, we always just sort of play around with Star Wars. Um, but when the new films came out, um, I got re-interested in, in Star Wars, and I saw online a fellow side maker that I, I don't know what his name was, and he put out a file on how to build an Archer Duty. So I followed it. It wasn't club spec, um, but it came out quite well. Um, thoroughly enjoyed it. Uh, about two weeks later, a friend of mine was running a comic con down at Western Supermare. And he said to me, he said, look, he said, I know you've got this R2D to me, he said, but we want something to promote the, the con. And I said, well, okay, well, let me think of something. And I said, no, I'll get back to you. So I went home, and this was on my mind. And whether it was a dream or what, or it came to me in a... a <laughs> <of fun. laughs> um, and Horse I thought, ghost. well, wouldn't it be great, I said, wouldn't it be great if I could, if you could build one, you, you could, a normal person could get in and drive. They do it with Daleks, why can't you do it with an RTD? So I thought, okay, well, well, okay, so where do I start? So the following day I came down and thought, right, I've got the plans, I've got diagrams, I can basically scale it up on the program I use for my sign making. So I got a picture of myself sat on the box, sideways and front ways, scaled the plans up to basically yeah. fit so that I would fit into those into the, the, the diagram. Um, the first thing would be before I met you guys was what okay the dome. Well the previous dome I used a B and Q lampshade. Right. Where am I going to get a 700 mil dome? So I'm hunting around, can't find a lampshade anywhere. Else. So I found this um, company called Project Plastics in just outside of Leesden. And they can blow an acrylic dome up to three metres in diameter. So I got in contact with them, told them what I was doing, 
and they all said, look, we're really interested in what you're doing. Keep us posted with production pictures. So I said, okay. So they blew the dome, that came down, uh, took, took some photographs, sent that up to them. Still no response from them. And uh, I carried on with the build. Um, basically, the build is uh, MDF, uh, MDF rings, uh, flexi uh, ply, and then uh, PVC uh, foam material around the outside, and the legs are uh, 18 mil PVC solid plastic, and they're just sandwiched together to make up the the, right. the, the legs. Yep. So anyway, I sent some more photographs. So let's come up to the end. Anyway, I had an email from this company saying, um, we're really pleased with what you've done. Uh, we don't tell everybody, but we make the cockpits and uh, other pieces for the Star Wars films and Guardians of the Galaxy. And obviously, we were just around these in the studios, and that's what, that's what it's applied to. So um, she said, they said, do you mind if we put it on our Facebook page? Said, yeah, by all means. So I was quite chuffed with that. And that was my first sort of... Yeah, Acknowledgement for what you've achieved. Yeah, indeed. Yeah. So anyway, a week later, August Bank Holiday, 19, uh, sorry, 2017, and the first out, it's boiling hot. The first weekend we've had, it's <laughs> really, really hot. So I don't know if you know uh, Western Superman, but we had to take, we had to borrow a uh, lorry at the time, a sort of, sort of, sort of small tail lift lorry. Nowhere to park, so we had to park uh, a mile and a half down the beach. That's the nearest car park. So how are we going to get up to this the venue? So just going to drive it. So I get in. My brother is uh, come along with me for a bit of support. The camera packs up. So what do I do? So luckily I've got a drill. I literally just drilled a hole through the dome. I'm looking through the dome. Wow. And my brother said, tap once for stop, twice for go. So to explain, you've got a dash cam in there, haven't it's you? Dash a car, car. Yeah, it's, yeah, exactly. it's a camera that feeds you the, the view from inside that's when you're driving the joy, doesn't it? So yeah. that's packed up. So I had to drill a hole there, yep. and basically he, he, was, he had a bag with him, a satchel. And we're going along Western Seafront, and it took us two and a half hours to cover <laughs> a mile and a half. And that wasn't because of speed, it was basically people Stop. were stopping, yeah, taking of course. photographs. Of course. And there we are. I was sweating my watts, etc. I had four bottles of water and I went through all of them. Wow. And we got to the venue and he, he said, he stopped me and I looked, he said, I said, what's that? He said, there's a big transformer, he said, a Dalek and that sort of thing. And I said, right, okay. And I said, right, I've got to get out, I've got to get out. So I opened the dome and all of a sudden, he said, I, my brother said, I swear I saw steam coming out. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and it was so hot. And people were saying, oh, you know, we thought it was remote control right. because my brother had yeah. this bag and yeah. we thought yeah. it was remote control yeah. by the side of it. Yeah. Anyway, it went down quite well. Um, we started putting kids in there and taking photographs. And then that was in the August of 2017. In the November, I came up to MCM, saw you guys, met with you. Memorable day. It was. <laughs> and um, I was a little bit nervous about approaching you about it because things like the 501st, everything's got to be the right button here and all this sort of thing. And I thought that was the same thing. the right thing. size. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, I thought it might have been the same situation with, with, the, uh, with the club. So I approached you and I said to you about what's, what's the thinking on drivable droids and your answer was, they're all drivable and you must have with the remote control. I said, no, actually get in and drive. And I said, from this day to, from that day to this, I always remember your yeah, yeah definitely. What the hell? <laughs> what? <laughs> and uh, you said you got to join the absolutely. You got to join the club absolutely. Now you were so excited that day. I, you told me definitely. Said, There's a guy here that's got an R two D two that you can get inside of and drive it round. I was like, yeah, of course he has. And you know, you you get we we've seen some people with droids that have turned up at comic cons and like. What even is this? You know, it's 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 out there. It really is out there. Yeah. But what you've done, what you've achieved, is phenomenal in my eyes. Absolutely brilliant. And, you know, an idea that you know no one else probably would have thought of. You know, it's absolutely brilliant. 
So yeah. my hat's off to you. Yeah, thank you. Definitely. Thank you. Definitely. So how long did it actually take to build from start to finish? Um, I started in the um, February, January, under January, February, and I got it finished for about two weeks before August Bank holiday on my same year. Wow. So That's it nice. was going so. That's great work. I mean, my customer phoned out and said, Where's my son? I said, I'm busy. Oh, yeah. um, it was, it was a, a little bit um, make it up as you go. Mm -hmm. Because the size of the motors, so the wheelchair motors, obviously are smaller than the scooter motors we use now. Hence, the, well, the battery boxes are not set back in because there just wouldn't have been enough room. So there is slight variations. In between... We don't mind that. <laughs> we don't mind that. <laughs> in between um, talking to you in the November and through to the uh, uh, R2, first R2 UK in the August, I did have some um, changes to it. Uh, I found a guy in Bath, this is when 3D printers really sort of started to kick mm. off. Um, he did some events for me. Oh, I remember um, you showing that. Yeah, you, you, yeah. The vents were. You like, made it a little bit more accurate. Yeah, yeah. Um, and everything else is is besides the hollow projectors. That's all. This is all Fomex. Incredible. And Sam and I were fortunate enough for R two UK, mm. the first what, event to You've have a go in it, and have a drive of it as well. So that was amazing. That was, you were uh, not. You were so not. Cool. You, I, when I was winching that thing down the ramp, and they were all coming out, and I thought, oh my God. If this goes off the ramp or something goes wrong, well, <laughs> I'm going to laugh and stop. But fair shout to you, it was, it was very, you were very welcoming yeah. and uh, yeah, no, you know, it's, very it's uh, good. Let me ask you a quick question on this cup of tea. What uh, what brand of tea bags are you using? Tesco's finest. Tesco's wow. finest. Wow. Yes. Yes. Gets that. No. Yes. It has a certain twang, doesn't it? It does, yeah. It has a nice little aftertaste to it. Nice little aftertaste. I've gone to the special effort with the... Oh, I mean, yes. the, the fair play. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, impressed with that. Have you got a question for Mike? Well, can I just rewind to you driving the joy to the, the event at Western Supermere? Yeah. How did you get it back to the van? Did you have to drive it back drive again? It back. Wow. <laughs> that's that's impressive. Yeah. There's there is a there's, there is a you'll have to excuse my um, narration at the start of the video, but at the the end of it is actually footage. Uh, and it's basically the sun's going down in Western, and we're going off into the sun. This is on YouTube. Yeah, yeah. We're we'll going that. Well, we'll that. Well. Um, so from there, what else have you built? Do you build anything else? Um, I do. I've just finished building um, KMB1, which is uh, from the Clone Wars. Yeah. Uh, everybody recognises it as M5BZ, which is the and actual he's, name. He's on. Mm -hmm. And it is, and um, I renamed it KNB1, which is in honour of my late father, Ken Berwick. Nice. Cool. And uh, he was always, you know, anything, he, he was, he's a bit of a slow star, so he was, he, he's, he'd ask him to do something, and mm, yeah, all right, well, it's for you, and once he get into it, he was, it. It was it. committed. And yeah. he always like yeah. building model Spitfires, Airfix Spitfires, oh. and that sort of thing. Um, he was working at a company called BCM, and basically the, he was he used to spray the drop tanks on Harriers. He was a painter, the Concorde one. And down at this facility, they were testing bulletproof jackets, and he managed to get a hold of a piece of material, and he made it into a skateboard for my brother. And it's the first bulletproof skate. Wow! Wow! <laughs> so things like How that. Cool. Once he gets an idea, he said, "It's like me. Once I get an idea in my head, I'm, I'm yeah. on it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm focused Amazing. on that." Yeah. Amazing. And um, you were saying earlier, he helped you move in here and he helped yeah, set this yeah, up he, when you first moved he, in. Is that right? Yeah, he did. We with solid month of painting, Great. and Great. I was still working in a factory, uh, and so on the off so on the opposite shift, I was coming down, trying to get this going, and then about. Six years later, we were made redundant, and I started doing this full time. Right. Um, yeah, it's quite nice. I mean, I've done stuff for Casualty. Casualty is quite fun. Right. Quite fun. Uh, they sent me down to set once to put a sticker on the reception, and uh, the guy said, "Show me to me." But he said the assistant director will be out in a minute. I said, "All right." So I said, "Right, where do you want 
where do you want me? So she said, I said, I'll just go and get my kit. I said, no, I'll be back in. So I'm looking around. This is all right, you know, all the sets going on. This is at Elstree, is that right? No, this is down in um, uh, Midland Road, St. Philip. Oh, okay. Yeah, it's where we filmed it in Bristol. Oh, in, uh, okay. Car. Yep. And uh, I wasn't really taking that notice of where I was going when I was coming in rather than going out. So, right, exit, so open the door, and there's a roller shutter door there. And it, it took me an hour and 15 minutes to find my way out. But uh, yeah, it was, that was, that's, that's quite cool. Fun. Interesting. Yeah, I, I, I love behind the scenes stuff and how they do things. Yeah, of course. Yeah. The new uh, the new ILM video they've got of the Razor Crest. Yeah. yeah. Going yeah. back to old school yeah, way right. of doing things, and yeah. I love that. Yeah. I I think CGI. It's like anything. It's like it's like me with my building and three D printing. Build what you can. Yeah. And then whatever yeah. you can't build. Use three D printing, yeah. and that's that. I think that's the same way yeah. of looking at the way they do films. Definitely, yeah. CG has yeah. its place. It's good yeah. for enhancing stuff, and and it's all coming back round again, isn't it? It's yeah. all you know. It's, it's yeah. what goes round comes. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. Well, not to knock this off topic a bit too much, but what's your favourite biscuit to dunk in your tea? There is some biscuits. You want Ooh, some biscuits? Yeah, go on then. Yeah, we'll have a biscuit. As, as we bring it up, we'll have a Yeah, yeah. Look at this. Tesco's fine. Tesco's fine. Tesco's fine. Yeah. You won't believe my missus works in Tesco, wouldn't you? Uh, I was going to ask ah, about sponsorship, okay. actually. You actually are sponsored by Tesco, then. Uh, yes. Every little yes. helps. Look at that. Oh, I was going to get Thank you. Mm. There's plenty to choose from. Top yeah, go on then, we're yeah, right. we'll right. that. Thank you. Mm. Mm. Yes, so. Now. Thank you. Um, so while I'm eating this biscuit, I'll pass <laughs> over to you to talk, Mike, and it, tell us um, what is your most treasured item? My most treasured item? Doesn't have to be Star Wars related, but you know, what have you got that's a collectible or whatever it might um, be? It's, it's not. It's not uh, gold engraved or anything like that. It's, it's something simple. Um, this is just a, I went up to a Comic Con one, one, one year and everybody was there. Daniel Logan, uh, Dave Prowse, Jeremy Bullock, Kenny Baker, all on the same show. Oh, amazing. And my the, cool. the, the metallic car with uh, Darth Vader and um, Jeremy Bullock's signature is probably not my thing and obviously now Kenny's gone yep. yeah that's him uh, yeah so yeah it's quite nice wow that's incredible that's cool that's really nice prize position yeah I get that that's that's really nice fantastic let's go back to Star Wars just for a second now in any of the Star Wars films or universe is there a particular scene where you'd like to have been there to say I was there when that happened. And I don't mean from a film perspective, but actually being in there and actually witnessing something happen, like being on Hoff, for instance, when they took down the Atat. Is there, is there a particular scene that really kind of holds true to you? I'd like to have been on the, the balcony when Darth Vader says, I'm your father. What, oh, having, having a cigarette or something? Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm back. Well, the person in the back of the scene, please move away. <laughs> That's a great one. That's excellent. Yes. I like so, that. Yeah. Just, just sat on the rail, you know, just, yeah. just staggering my feet over that yeah. big of this and... Amazing. Mm. I like that. I like that. That's, that's good. A really it's good another one. different answer. We yeah. look, we haven't had a match yet, so that's that's a cracker. I've never heard... Yeah. I, don't think there's any, I don't think there's anything that's, a, a, you know, as big a moment in any mm. of Star Wars films as that. Yeah. Yeah. I'd have to agree with that. I mean, no one saw it coming as such, but although Darth... And Vader is father in German, is it not? And is what? Well, I think Darth or yeah. Vader or whatever it is. Vader is. Oh, father is, is, but, is it? Oh, German, okay. Yeah. Right. So uh, maybe the Germans knew. <laughs> <laughs> Who knows? Don't we'll move swiftly don't on. on. <laughs> don't mention the war. We'll move swiftly on. I'm, I'm going to have to read this question because I always make, want to make sure I get this right. Um, so recently we were with Glyn when he did his epic journey across the Humber Bridge. And um, he set a new record. So we've, we've started these R2 Builders records. And I think we might have one sitting right there behind Mike actually, Sweet. thinking about it. 
Um, um, but he crossed the Humber Bridge, and we have now started Beat Off Glyn. So, what challenge would you like to do with your asterisk, or see someone else do with theirs? Any suggestions? Ooh. So whether it be with this good guy here, or you know someone else, you don't have to put your joy through the choo- parachute through the jump. A parachute jump. Ah, that'd be amazing. What with the drop, the dr- strap to yeah, the drop. Right. <laughs> With the with the operator, uh, as long as it's with, not that one. <laughs> <laughs> with, without the operator, is this a tandem it's not jump? That one. <laughs> um, no, I, I, I was, when he did the the the, uh, the the bridge crossing, and I was thinking, I thought, well, what what, what can you do? Um, one of the members said to me, he said, well, why don't we just why don't we do the suspension bridge or the aid mount bridge? I said, but it's just a bridge; it's been done. You know, you want something something different. Yeah. Um, yeah. So I thought, well, okay, well, you can't do anything on by sea, really. Um, so it's got to be by air. Perfect. So, okay. so you think about doing this yourself, or no. <laughs> so who would you like to see do it? Who would you nominate? Well, if you're up for it, so <laughs> you know, there you no. go. There you go. No. You can ask. Wow. <laughs> yes. Wow. Um, yeah, I, I. Whether it be strapped to a droid or just a droid itself, well, I think that, that might be quite fun. It's going to be a bit messy though, isn't it, at the end? Not, well, as long as you've got a big enough parachute. It's not going to have a happy ending, is it? You can't be a happy ending. Well, ask Lynn. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. He's always got a smile on his face, cool. that guy. <laughs> wow. Okay, well, let's have a look at that then, if anyone wants to put themselves yeah. forward okay. for uh, the beat off Glenn. Glenn challenge, um, you know, let yeah. us know. Let yeah. us know. The biggest drop with an R2, that would be our time, yeah. wouldn't it? As a, as a I mean, if you're going to do it with this one, you probably are on that using a Hercules plane. Yeah. Yeah. Pushed out the back. Yeah. And if you do it over here, you'd have, to clear the whole, you'd have to clear the whole of Bristol as yeah. well before it did drop, just in case. God, yeah. 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 Now, yeah. Amazing. Yeah. Yeah. Brilliant. That's great. Um, finally, we're just trying a new segment, which um, I thought of today, and it's called Hidden Talent. Now, I have a hidden talent, and it's um, doing different dialects. So I can talk like a Bristolian, like this. And you close your eyes. That's what I can do. So I sound as though I come from Bristol, you see. I was thinking more Jamaica. Oh, okay. (laughs) But That's because you're from Bristol. That's because you're from Bristol. Mm. But because I'm so good at that, is there anything that you've got a hidden talent that you're really good at? that you'd like to share. Avoiding uh, awkward questions. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, the question's still there. Yeah, the question's, question's still, still remains. there, unfortunately. Um, any hidden, oh. you know, any, any skills you can do, any party tricks or... Handstand or something? Anything or? anything you can do. Not that I can think of at the moment. Okay. Oh, no, right. I'm sorry, no. What right. do you think of Lee's Bristolian accent? Nailed it, eh? It's almost there. Nailed it. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. It's like anything, isn't it? If, you, if, you, if, you're, if you're from Brum and you're trying to do a Brum accent, that sort of thing, it never comes out. I mean, our Bristolian accent is probably the worst accent going. Yeah. You know, you know this, you, you've got to put an L on everything. Right. So, as in, I'm going to Asdel. So you're saying I need to I'll work on it. I need to work on it a bit It's harder. Yeah. I'm going to Liddell. Liddell, yes. Or Primarni. Primarnell. <laughs> Mike, thank you very much for being no on Sandley and a cup of tea. Thank Please give Mike. us the website for your uh, design company. Yep. It is www.vinyldesigns.co.uk. Um, Amazing. Thank you so much for having us. Okay. Thank you, Mike. Thank you for lovely tea. It's great. Ooh, yeah. Excellent. Good stuff. Cool. That was hard work. <laughs> <laughs>